All right, hey guys, welcome to the driving portion of the ID4 review. I am so excited to actually enjoy this vehicle. My drive over here was a little bit tame, but I was just figuring out the vehicle and I like it. I'm not, uh, I'm not opposed to it. Everything's really kind of in front of you and all the information you need is, is really kind of accessible. So without further ado, I think it's time to give it a little bit of an acceleration. That is not too bad, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty, it's pretty good acceleration. You know, I think this is around 200 horsepower, so for a car that um, definitely weighs a lot, thanks to the batteries and the you know electric motor and all of that, it's, it's a heavy car. So um, it kind of gives the illusion of it's faster than it really is, uh, and that's a lot thanks to the you know electric motors. You get that instant torque, and um, yeah, no, it's a hoot, it really is, so. Um, noticing or things that I kind of uh, noticed right out of the bat and we'll have a you know the opportunity coming coming right up there's road work right there actually um, this you can hear the uh, the regen braking and it's, it's kind of cool it's, it reminds me a lot of the Porsche Taycan that I drove about a year ago and um, it's a very cool like futuristic sound um, I don't necessarily know if it's an, a legitimate sound or if it's just something that Volkswagen amplified, but knowing Volkswagen, I wouldn't be surprised if it's something a little bit, um, if it's just not a natural noise. All right. I'll take it a little slow through here. But yeah, as far as driving position goes, the seating is, you know, you're, you're sat up. I can definitely... Um, say that and maybe that's possibly due to the fact that um, obviously you're sitting on top of batteries, but um, Yeah, it's it's a sat up position, but um, visibility is really darn good in this vehicle. Of course, we have um, You know all the assists that we need we have blind spot monitoring right in the mirror um, You can't really see it, but it is integrated quite well. Yeah, really no blind spots and um, It's it's a simple but very very effective um, interior and I like it. I think Volkswagen is definitely heading in the right direction. It's exciting to see what variants of ID4 that we're gonna see. Maybe possibly an R. I mean, an R ID4. I'm all about that. <laughs> Man, I can't imagine what that would drive like. But um, what we'll do now is just to entertain the idea of different driving modes. We'll put it in comfort mode. And wow, right off the bat, uh, as I let off the throttle, it it uh, maintains its, its speed. That's kind of cool. Um, this car does have independent suspension all around, so it rides really comfortably. You know, it's not on a, on a super aggressive wheel tire setup, so um, you'd pretty much expect that. There's no noise, there's really no noticeable road noise um, that I can indicate or tell you guys about. Um, it's, a, it's a nice place to be, it really is. I like this, I like this ID4. You know, I've always been super skeptical, and as many people are about electric cars, and it is the future, so um, embrace it a little bit. Embrace it. I'm, I love gas-powered, and I'm, I'm all about, you know, catless stage 2 GTIs and Golf Rs, but um, this is our future, so. The steering is kind of nice, too. Um, it's not, you know, it's this is no sports car, but um, as far as comfort feeling and comfort steering, you know, it's nice. It's, you know, I'm not going to say it's direct or anything. I'm just going to say it's comfortable. I like it. It's easy to steer. This car is, um, you know, it doesn't take too much steering to get around corners. It's, it's a very, very nice place to be. And again, you know, this is the first edition, you know, spec. So as we see more of these cars sort of hit dealers and more trims being released and hopefully new variants of this car, it'd be cool to see, you know, an R variant. I know I mentioned that before, but, you know, a little sporty, sporty tape or an R line you know like something like that that bumps up the power a little bit I know there are going to be some um, trims and some specs that I think offer a little bit more power than um, than this one but uh, you know this is 200 I think 210 or how much horsepower I'll, I'll put this in uh, maybe a little blurb in the video but um, it's not bad it's, it's peppy it's really peppy if we'll do some regen braking now so we're coming up to right up to a stoplight and um, yeah, the regen braking. You can kind of hear it. Hopefully it picks up on the video, but um, that's kind of cool. All right, we'll do one, one more taste of sport mode. That guy's turning, and as are we. Yeah, it picks right up. It 
really does. It's no slouch. Again, no gearing and just instant torque and you'll get up to speed plenty fine, plenty fine. You can sort of feel the regen braking even in your uh, traditional, or um, in this case, our, where we put it in sport mode, it, right as you let off the throttle. Pete's! <laughs> Is that the Pete's toilet rentals? Very nice. Wearing the name strong. Yeah, guys, this thing's a peach. Big fan of the ID4. Of course, this is ID4, so um, you know Volkswagen is going to launch definitely more electric cars, and potentially, I, I just hope they don't pull a Ford and they rebrand, you know, the Golf R as an electric car. Um, you know, if they're going to not make a gasoline-powered Golf R or GTI, I'm totally fine with them killing the name. I really am. Maybe they can put a fun twist on it, but um, you can't. You know, don't pull a Ma Mustang Mach-E, <laughs> which I, I want to drive that car. I want to see what it's like because. These cars are sort of competitors, um, you know, it's, uh, they're definitely competitors. This is right up there with Model Y, you know, um, kind of the smaller segment of SUVs. It's not as big as the Model X, but see right there, we got our blind spot coming in clutch. But, uh, yeah really cool place to be you know I feel like I uh, I feel like I'm whispering a lot but I mean this is a very quiet cabin the sound deadening is really good in this car too um, there's really no noticeable road noise you know on the perfect tire it's gonna be dead silent so I like it big fan of ID4 I like how this is all one piece you know um, everything kind of gives it the floating illusion I keep mentioning that but oh my goodness it's so so prominent and evident in this vehicle Wow, what a car. We'll do on our way back. We'll put an Eco. Why not? We'll see what Eco's like. Yeah, Eco, I can already tell the throttle. You gotta give it a little bit more. It's less sensitive to my inputs. Alright, we'll see how this car takes this notorious kind of awful entrance and oh like butter you don't even feel it <laughs> not bad at all man I really do like this car it's so so sweet there we go we got the Golf R and we're back guys so um, final impressions of ID4 um, well it is very different from what I'm used to driving and that's not a bad thing um, you know, electric cars are sort of the future, and I think, you know, if Volkswagen keeps up what they're doing, I think they're going to be in good shape. This is really, really, I would say it's a fun car to drive. I like it. I'm a big fan of this. Um, you know, all the cool sounds it makes, it's it's fun, and it's uh, stickers around 45K. In fact, um, if you guys haven't seen the walk around video, I will link that in the description below that um, shows the whole sticker and everything. But um, around 45K for this first edition, um, there will be more more uh, variants and more trims out shortly. And uh, yeah, these are gonna start hitting dealers probably pretty rapidly. So um, yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video and um, Stay tuned for more because I'm excited to review more of these cars and uh, definitely do some more stuff to the Golf R. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.